Hey, welcome back to the channel. Just out here in the not lawn part of my yard. So that's where I've been spending most of the time the last couple of weeks. I really haven't done much of anything in the lawn per se. The temperatures really haven't been favorable up front for the Bermuda. So I've been taking advantage of this time just to get some things done in the landscaping and with my equipment. So I'm gonna talk about the things I've been working on the last few weeks and kind of just talk about the point that there's really a lot more to your property and landscaping than just the lawn. So what exactly have I been working on, you might ask? Well, I know you've seen it on some of the videos, but I've really been spending a lot of time. First thing I've worked on a lot over the past few weeks is my landscaping beds. Springtime's a really great time to get in your landscape beds and get some of the weeds cleaned out, get them remulched. If you remember a few videos back, I did a hard prune on my front foundation shrubs. I went ahead and did a hard prune on some holly bushes as well and those are already starting to kind of come back but at a much smaller more manageable length so really excited how that turned out i got my front beds repine strawed around my mailbox and the holly bushes in the front of the house looks really good ready for the season got those all cleaned up and ready to go before the bermuda really starts cranking up all right so the second thing i spent a lot of time working on last weekend was I serviced up my Toro Time Master. I ordered a kit off Amazon. It was a really great deal. No affiliate link below. It was like 57 bucks. And I ended up changing out the spark plug, the air filter, the fuel filter, uh, brand new fresh blades on that machine, uh, changed out the oil and cleaned the whole machine down and scraped the deck and just got that mower ready to go. And I'll tell you, after doing that tune up, the thing is running uh, like a brand new mower. Really impressed with how that turned out. Uh, don't think I'm gonna do a video on how to do that because there's already tons and tons and tons of videos on service in the Toro Time Master, but I uh, went ahead and got that done before the season really gets kicking. If you don't have a really well running machine, you're definitely not gonna have really good results in the lawn. So spend the time now before you're out there really mowing every you know three or four days on Bermuda uh, to get that machine serviced up like I did and you'll be good to go. All right, one of the things I talked about in my last video that I hadn't quite yet done was testing out my irrigation system. We've actually been unusually dry, even though it rained yesterday here in Northeast Georgia. So I went ahead and cranked up my irrigation system, which in Georgia, we don't really winterize them, or at least where I live, I don't. So it really just consists of turning it on and then walking all the zones. So I'm gonna flash some B-roll footage right now and just kind of show you what each of the zones looks like on my system. I've got eight zones total, and I just put my controller in test mode for I think a minute or two and just walked each zone, let them come on and just look for any damage. Knock on wood, there wasn't any damage to it. So we had some really, really hard freezes in December, which was unusual for us here in Northeast Georgia. It was the first time we've had a really hard freeze in I think about four or five years. So that brings me to something else that I did. I worked on not only the hard prune on the front, I went ahead and did a hard prune on my gardenias in the back. So kind of not super happy about how those things look. They were sawed down to the stumps when I first bought the house. And over the course of the last couple of years, I've been fertilizing them with organic fertilizer and just letting them come up and grow. Last year was actually the first year that they put out some really nice white fragrant blooms that the gardenias are known for. And unfortunately, I had to just sacrifice them this year. They're just too much uh, freeze damage on them. I'll flash some footage of those and just really the time to drop them down. So I ended up dropping those things down about uh, to about two feet uh, with my Echo uh, hedge trimmer. And we're gonna just let those things come back this year and hope for a better year next year with those gardenias. So last but not least, I've been spending a good bit of time in the parts of my lawn that really aren't lawn or parts of my property that really aren't lawn. So I've got a 37,000 square feet yard, but only about 18,000 square feet of that yard is actually what would be considered turf grass. The rest of it is what you see behind me. It's a mix of just kind of natural woods and trees and just natural areas. So I spent a good bit of time working on the natural areas uh, last week. I took the old 22 inch Toro recycler out and I just ran over all the leaf cover that had been left to just kind of decompose over the winter. I will say that in the past years, I've gone over these areas much earlier in the season and uh, leaving them for longer till spring really did help suppress some weeds, but I did start getting some weeds that were breaking through. So I mixed up some Roundup and spot sprayed everywhere I could on the natural areas. Not my favorite thing to do, but some of the weeds that were coming up were actually viney weeds like poison oak. Since my kids play back here, I did not want those plants to keep uh, flourishing. So I went ahead and sprayed with Roundup, but pretty happy with how the natural areas are turning out and 
happy to finally have some kind of shape to the lawn back here. I'm gonna continue to work on this area a whole lot more. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, that's really all I've been up to the last few weeks. We're waiting for the temperatures to get more favorable for the Bermuda grass. So just gonna keep working in the landscape and mowing as needed until that happens. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.